because Gordon, I was watching Sunday Night Football last night. I was going through the rundown, and I saw that Travis, our producer, put on the rundown, the internet gives Gordon a history lesson with a link to YouTube. And I had seen the Twitter clip. This is in reference to you confusing Norway as being able to participate in the Commonwealth Cup. So I clicked on the link, went to the YouTube page, saw the comments, and I have to say, it was the hardest I've laughed in several weeks looking at these comments. And most of them, they're not your typical mean-spirited YouTube comments. Now, maybe since you're the subject of this, maybe you'll disagree, but I thought a lot of these were genuinely hilarious. I didn't read any of the comments. What, what, what did some of them say? I, I didn't see it. I Okay, I will read all of them now because there were I tried not uh, to great. read the There's internet comments of about me. Okay, so some a lot of crying emojis. A lot of crying emojis here. Um, here's one from Shrek 2. Gordon's goon's been real quiet ever since this. That's good. Uh, we got one here where it says, quote, there's like random African countries in there too. It's like confusing. And then the, and then the commenter put, the queen's about to give you a slap, Gordon, which is good. Uh, Pizza Hut said, I've always been a Gordon fan, but this shit is getting hard to defend. <laughs> Pizza Hut? I love Pizza uh, Hut. I love going to Pizza Hut. Is it the actual corporate Paul, account? Is that the corporate account, Pizza so. Hut, commenting on my, on this podcast? Uh, Paul wrote, it's early in 2022, but this is going to take some beating as the Gordon hilarious moment of the year. No one else is asking the tough questions like, why isn't the U.S. in the Commonwealth game? But no, hear me out. Like, we used, I know, like, we we had a breakup and it wasn't good. We kind of got a little... <laughs> A little bit of fighting over it, but we still have we technically did. British roots, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you're, we're still yeah. in the we're still on their um, in their phone. You know they don't call us, but we're still listed as a number. So why aren't we in the Commonwealth <laughs> Games? On that same note, commenter Music One Hundred Two threw you a lifeline here. Actually, up until nineteen fifty eight the Herb Elliott games, they were generally known as the Empire Games. So he's talking about what the Commonwealth Games were called before they, they changed the name. Uh, talking of Norway, didn't they, during Viking times, lay claim to England? Maybe that tenuous link is enough to invite them to join the Commonwealth Family of Nations and have Jakob racing against Josh Kerr and the Kenyans in Birmingham this summer. Well, a person can dream. See, that's exactly what I was thinking. 100%. <laughs> what... Music 102 and I are on the same page. Uh, I was thinking of the Empire Games, which is not to be confused with that video game ad you probably see on the internet for the Empire Games. But you know, I'm. This was hey. This was great. I, this is great. I don't do my geography research before the pod, unfortunately. So too busy. This is good. Did, Again, did this you is awesome. Some people. Go ahead. No, you go. I was just saying, a lot of people were saying, "Well, this is the, you know, like don't Americans learn about." geography in school and i'll just mention it's been a long time since gordon's been in school and commonwealth games and or um which which nations have british roots i don't think is covered although perhaps now it should what were you gonna say 